Hey, you guys, I'm up early. I'm about to get my Thanksgiving stuff started. Um, today is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, so I'm, I'm doing this a little early. Um, I already prepped all my stuff on yesterday uh, for us, my onions and bell peppers and stuff to go in my dressing. Now I'm about to go ahead and prepare my dressing. Okay, guys, so I am using the cornmeal, the uh, Seth Rising baking soap. Um, I am using the Seth Rising uh, cornmeal. I usually use the Martha White, but they was out of, they only had buttermilk, so I'm using this. And it all works the same. Seth Rising cornmeal. So let's get started. <music> I already got my chicken stock going and I ain't have a big chicken so I'm just putting little parts of the chicken in there and I'm letting it boil with some celery green peppers and onions and a little bit of Creole seasoning okay guys so I'm done with my cornbread and I did my chicken broth I'm gonna show you guys that in a second let me go ahead and crumble up my cornbread I like them in little bitty crumbs, but I like crumbling them up. I like to crumble it up. That should be about right. Okay, now I did go ahead and boil my um, chicken stock, make my chicken stock, so let me get me a... Spoon. Boil my chicken stock in there. Oh, look at the juices. Everything. Everything. I'm going to add my 
lot of seasonings. I'm using my pepper and each one of them use a handful, a palm full actually. Actually the pepper is gonna be like a, a half a palm. Cause I don't want it to be too, too spicy. I'm gonna use a little bit of parsley. And my sage my sage harmful four tree seasoning use a little bit of miss dash a little bit of garlic Should be about it. What's wrong? Nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, could you give me that? Um, what's the name at the bottom? You didn't even bring your phone, did you? Yeah, he got the flu. Joey. Yeah. She do. Yep, she got off early. Yeah, she got off early. Okay, so I'm going to put in my onions, bell peppers, and my celery. So you ain't me a plate. Plate over there, Sal. I'm sorry. Okay. Put in a little bit of the chicken that I yes, can savor from the... Um, you can boo -boo? Turkey. I mean the chicken. What'd you say? Can I tell the broccoli? Yeah, it should be charged up. I it's, it's charged. I ain't never played it. It's charged up. It should be. And it, it ain't even played, but you know how that go. Now let me give it a taste. Butter. That's two butters right there. That's a butter. I only use one butter. Come on, and I gotta still make the cake. That's all we got on in the bus here. That goes to Dollar General. No, Dollar General Coleslaw. I'm putting a little bit of butter in there, and that gives it the flavor. You don't need no butter in the dog on dressing. Well, I'm putting That's butter in it. Come from it's just too rich. I'm putting butter in my dressing. Gives it that flavor, that extra kick. Okay, so I'm just mixing it on up. It looks like it's soupy, but once it gets in that oven, all this juice gonna really evaporate. It's really gonna evaporate. I like to put the aluminum foil 
over my dressing and let it cook for at least two hours. And then I take it off and I let it cook for another additional hour. Okay, y'all, so my dressing is done. And I'm just letting it cool all off. I'm letting it cool off. As when it's set, it's going to thicken up more. That's the dressing with the seasoning. Homemade stock. Thank y'all so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know if you make your dressing from cornmeal, from Jiffy Mix, or the stovetop stuffing. Whichever way, it's your kitchen. Be blessed.